Hey gang, hey friends, oh for f sake, hey gang, hey friends, hey gang friends, welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today, if you are new here then hello, hey, hi, welcome, would you like a sweetie, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff, I hope this video finds you well, have I said that, I mean it, my desk is still a mess, I use that as the last excuse, I filmed at the same time, same excuse, before I start I just want to show you the, how to use the Team DG discount code on the website, um, so I've gone onto the Diamond Glitters website. I'm going to add something to my basket. I have already signed in. So if you have an account, sign into your account first or create an account um, and then add stuff to your basket. And then you want to go to checkout um, and then scroll down. I have um, covered my address here. So there aren't generally alien faces on the website, but there are here. So then you press check out securely and then you can scroll down again and check to agree to the terms and conditions and the other stuffs. And then as you scroll down, this is where you want to click. I have a gift voucher or promo code. So click that and that's where you want to enter um, Team DG, which is all one word, all uppercase. And then add code. Bing! And then if you want to check that that code has applied, on the next page where it says order summary, you can just click the down arrow and it will show you that you have your discount code in place. Um, and then you carry on and proceed to check out or payment um, and pay that way. They can't refund you for orders that you've made just because you missed the code. I know it's annoying if you have missed the box. You will love the stuff, so you'll be back for more and the code's always in place. So take it on the chin, use it next time. Um, I'm starting with platinum. This is gonna sil uh, the little ba -ba -ba -ba. This is silvery, grey, Christmassy. You'll see. Uh, I've cured platinum and I'm doing coat of snow angel on top. Whenever I do, a f if I want some, if someone, uh, if someone wants a full nail of snow angel, I do tend to do platinum underneath, and I do do that with a lot of glitters. I'll put a colour like a cream. Um, plain colour underneath that's as close to that glitter as possible just so you don't have any gaps between the glitter and you know because some glitters are sort of glitter inside a clear polish so um, I like to put a colour underneath so that is that one first one done nice and easy the second one is going to start with silver fox I'm shouting again calm down okay I'm taking silver fox I'm going to do two coats and i cured those i'm now taking snow angel again oh such a good color i wore this on my nails loads in the summer um i'm going to take a detailer brush and just do a kind of swirly swirly swirl um, over the nail but i don't want it to say stay as kind of a swirl i want it to kind of look like a spatter in a swirl direction so i'm just spreading it out just roughly spreading it out uh, and then I cured that and I'm now going to stamp some snowflakes on. I'll show you which plate it is in a minute and I will be doing a video on stamping um, but I haven't sort of kept the whole process in this video because it was just a pain and I got in a mess as you can see. Um, so I popped some stamps, some snowflake stamps on there. I'm now taking these clear um, crystals from Diamond Glitters. Uh, you know the code because I've just been talking about it. Talking about it, love. Um, yes, it's code Team DG for a discount there. Um, and I'm using some super base. I've popped some on the nail and I'm just sinking the crystals into it. And then I decided that I just wanted to kind of have a whole bunch of crystals, um, not in any particular order. And then I'm taking some caviar beads, the silver ones, and I'm going to kind of just plonk, plonk those around. What a lovely word. Um, and I made, I was really struggling not to set them as if, you know, when you set crystals like they're jewellery and you have it um, set them in like they are on pieces of jewellery. I found it really hard not to do that because I'm used to doing it. But I just wanted to have them randomly thrown on there, not um, intentionally placed. So I've just stuck a bunch on there and then decided that I wanted more at the top. So I had already flash cured the bottom half. So I'm adding more of the super base which is a rubber base coat so the crystals are going to sink nicely into it um popping some more crystals at the top and then again some caviar beads i was going for kind of um not you know you, you don't look at it and see 
exactly where each crystal is. I wanted to kind of have this just icy, crystally, frosted... What's that film? Is it How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? Where um, Matthew McConaughey does something to do with jewellery, advertising, and it's like, frost yourself. That was an awful attempt at a Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, just a kind of... Just a great big splattering of blinding, can't tell what for what, just sparkliness. So that's what we went for there. I cured that and I've top coated around it and I'm just taking a detailer brush to get into any nooks and crannies and just make sure that everything um, around the crystals has been top coated. I need to sniff, bear with. Okay, I've sniffed. Allergies, not, you know. Um, oh my goodness. So I've sealed everything in with diamond cloth, of course, of course, and then that's going to be cured, or it's been cured, and now I'm showing you it. That's that one. <laughs> now I'm showing you it, as you can see. Uh, the next one is starting again with two coats of silver fox, and then curing those. No idea what's about to happen. Icicles! Right. Um, so I'm taking Alaska and I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, pull down, wiggle, wiggle, pull down, and then just doing some straight down lines, pressure and lift off as you drag down, um, just for some icicles and then drawing a straight line across the top and we're going to curve. This is a quick video, isn't it? And it wasn't intended to be a quick video, but I'm finding I'm having to really, um, just chew your ear off really quickly. Sorry. Um, just rounding off where the icicles fall from the top. These are um, stalactites, the ones that grow upwards from the ground are stalagmites. And the way to remember it that we learnt at school was stalactites that hang, they have to hold on tight. And the stalagmites from the bottom um, have to use the might to grow up and become what they are or whatever. Or was it they might grow, they might not because they're not as common. Anyway. Uh, so I'm rounding off, that was a useless fact for you, <laughs> um, just rounding off where they join the line at the top so it looks more drippy as opposed to a straight line with just things poking out of them. And then I pondered what to do, so I cured it. <laughs> I'm now taking Make It Velvet and I'm going to top the whole thing in velvet and then I'm going to cure that and then top just the icicles with diamond gloss so the grey stays matte and the white will be shiny. I did intend to do something else on this nail and matte, but I kind of forgot. So it's the only part of the nail that's the set that stays matte. Uh, I'm not sure. What do you think? Should I have done it all shiny? Anyway, uh, Kiba Etienne is a new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. We don't have a lovers or haters section today because there were no haters. Sorry. Um, Show Face Makes says that I remind you of Hilda Spellman from the new Sabrina, which I haven't seen, but I looked on YouTube at her and, you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, Cheryl Walton says that you really give me the confidence to try new things and that, oh, I love that so much. That makes me so happy. Um, always try new things. Just give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Dr. Pepper. Strawberry Bubblegum says, how do, you, how do you keep your polishes good in the summer? Like, where do I store them, I presume? So I keep mine in a drawer all year round for two reasons. One, it's out of sunlight. You know, there's no UV rays getting near my polishes. And two, if they're out, you know, people might want to touch them and back off. They might. Um... Amy Bates wanted to see my phone case that inspired one of the last sets. So that is my phone case. The background, the clouds is what inspired the the last uh, one of the sets we did recently. Um, I might do another one even more like it. So that that's my phone case. <laughs> so these have been topped. That's been topped with diamond gloss now uh, and cured. So that's staying matte, that grey bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have just topped the whole thing in shiny because everything else is shiny. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'm now doing an ombre with Silver Fox. Oh, my God. <sighs> I get carried away and excited and now I can't breathe because I feel like I'm doing the whole voiceover on one breath. 
um, and gunpowder. But it turns out that they were quite similar. And once I blended them, oh, for fuck. Sorry about that. Um, once I blended them, they were quite similar. And then I go and put more stuff on top of it so you couldn't really see it so i wouldn't bother with that if a client wanted this set uh follow these nails said do you have a preferred way to drink your baileys i do straight as much as will fit in the glass with two heart-shaped ice cubes <laughs> uh ivana good name says what's your favorite set of nails you've done it's a toss-up between um this soldier that i did as part of a remembrance day set um I, it was the second silhouette I'd ever drawn. The difference between that and the first one was quite comical. Um, and this set, The Guardians of the Galaxy, it's not the best set. I mean, Groot's not very good. But I think just because I love Guardians of the Galaxy, it's one of my favourite sets. Um, so I'm now taking the Nicole Diary 120, which I got from Born Pretty Store, this stamping plate. You can use code MISSJO20 for a discount there. Um, oh, and you can use code BB Dexter Dog until the tenth for twenty percent off pop sockets. I'm just full of discount codes. Um, there's like a fifty billion bajillion stamping plates at Born Pretty Store. I've got some coming to me soon. They're sending me some, um, but I stupidly ordered Halloween ones, not remembering that you know it takes three and a half years to get here. Uh, so I've done some more snowflakes on here. They didn't quite land where I wanted them because my clear stamper um, has gone all misty where I've got acetone and shit all over it. Um, but that's fine. It's just a, just a, they've all fallen into a pile. That's what we're going for now. Uh, I'm taking some snow angel. I'm just going to scatter it about between the snowflakes that we've stamped. Uh, yeah, d yeah, they had all kind of got a bit bunched up. But I couldn't see what I was doing, so it'll do. Uh, and now, curing that, um, fuck, snowflake, the glitter. So just spattered some of that on, sp didn't spit it on, but, you know, made it look like it was spattered. Um, cured that, and then topped it with diamond gloss. Of course, of course. And now, I'm really sorry, this has been... Even I know this is a bit of a manic voiceover. It was not my intention, but I can't speak as quickly as I have edited this video. Um, I'm now, is this the last one? I think so. This wasn't planned. Like I didn't, I mean, none of it was. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but I love the way this turned out. Um, so I'm taking a snowflake. It's a bit squidged at the bottom, but, you know, I can't bother to do it again. Uh, just wiping off any random bits of... Um, stamping polish that come from the pictures the the uh imprints around it and i'm adding some more of the snowflake perfect glitter for this set um i'm putting it in between the gaps and then i'm just going to spread it out but i don't want to spread it out so that we get this kind of perfect crisp circle around the snowflake i want it to kind of look like the snowflakes kind of exploding does snowflake no um that's what i was going for kind of like a pew, snowflake in the face bam that's what we we're going for um yeah i did a snowflake on someone the other day on their pinky pinky nail art i mean thank goodness it was a stamp i hate doing pinky nail art because you always get someone who's like oh i just have a, a unicorn you know dancing on a beach at sunset woman your pinky best be six foot long or you can suck my balls just have plain color on it okay uh so yeah so i'm just spreading that out trying to make it look not um not like a crisp outline of glitter just to kind of burst a bursting uh just want to give a shout out to sabrina wanning who's from germany i only say that because one of my best friends is german and she's there hey sabrina if you see laura blonde hair gorgeous say hi um, she recreated one of the sets that was inspired by my phone case that we just discussed um, and did an amazing job. So, um, brava! That was really good. I love that. Um, I love being tagged in the recreations. It makes me so happy. I'm now, I've cured the snowflake glitter and I've added some super base again. I'm going to use that to pop one of the clear crystals in the center and then cure it. And now I am topping but not topping over the crystal 
um, with diamond gloss, just making sure to seal around the crystal and then I'll work on getting, you know, as neat a light line as possible. Clearly haven't done a good job. Obviously, I'm talking out my ass. Um, and I think that's the last one. I'm so sorry. This has been really manic. Um, I should have slowed some bits down. Um, whew, I'm out of breath. I feel like I've just climbed a mountain. Um, I hope you're okay. You're all okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, would you wear it? I might do. Yeah, I think I might do. I mean, I'm not going to because I can't be asked to do it on myself. But anyway, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Miss Joe's Nail Co. Go ahead. Give me a follow. I'll follow you back. Uh, I don't go on it much, but I will. Um, thank you so much for being here. I will see you again on Thursday. No, yes, Thursday. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.